Hi, the guy was sharing. Still on lockdown, but let's check out my deck tent. Used to repurpose, bought it in Phoenix a year ago, two years ago. Check it out. It's raining. So I'm checking out my DAC tent, making some mods for future. I've got it up, I've got the tailgate out. What I've done is, on the struts, I've cut these PVC pipes to keep it from that far up. Because I got a high top, so you don't want this glass window all the way up, because then the DAC tent won't fit down to the tailgate. What I've also done, temporarily because I'm working on something is I've put my hiking sticks up for the ends of the window so you have your struts your PVC pipe clipper thingy and you have your hiking sticks this should level out any weight that might happen to come on top of this this window both sides there's the hiking stick and the PVC pipe. So normally when I put my window up and there's wind, I have a bigger size here that I put on this side. And this here is a permanent copper pipe. So when I'm not keeping the window lowered for the deck tent, I can have this window all the way up for like when I have a shade tent. And this slides down automatically. I can't get to the store. I only have one piece of copper. But you have to have various sizes. All right. Let's give you an outside view of this DAC tent that I got off of, I believe, Craigslist down in Phoenix like a year, two and a half years ago, a year ago. It's a blur. For 50 bucks. I took it to the car wash. I washed it off. I've got some... Uh, some spray to put the waterproof stuff back on the outside, but it seems to be holding up all right. It smells like bug spray from the last time I used it. <laughs> all right. Oh, it's also got tent flaps. It closes completely up, and I've also got a screen right here that can be unzipped. So it's held up. It goes over your roof to stop the rain from dripping in this area no rain gets in and it's bungeed as you can see through the window to the rear tire there to the rear tire there and then there's a bungee that goes underneath your tailgate there's a hole in the deck right there goes underneath your tailgate and connects there now you can bring these closer with some minor adjustments to keep out everything also I have magnets so I have then the wind comes up, which it usually doesn't move it, but I have magnets on the outside of my truck right there, keeping the tent in place, like I do when I open my curtains. All right, let's take a look at the outside. Deck tent. Oh, extra wood for construction going on here. Still working on the projects. Got to do something when you're in lockdown. So some ideas I have about putting support all the way across is repurposed. I plan to make a brace all the way across and then there'll be a brace coming down. Now I don't know if I'm going to use PVC or not, but it seems to me with these bolts for my tailgate. If I had PVC of the right diameter, it could be supported in this brace and fit over these screws. And then there'll be a support brace instead of just the PVC and the hiking sticks. There would be a support beam all across the edge that fits right in there. And the corners would be on hinges, and they would just flip down and go into those 
long screws. And when it's not raining and I'm not using the deck tent, the hinges will just fold up and slide to the side of the bed. Well, let me show you some improvements real quick here on my locking. When I'm in lockdown, out in the desert, and I'm locking myself up in my truck or city dwelling, I have these hooks permanently on there. This closes and hooks on to the chain. Same thing on the other side because I had put a board in between my bolts of the shell on with a board. I have the same thing on this side. This is just to hold it, but it clips into that lock. No, it's not going to keep super bad dudes out, but it'll give me enough warning to grab my choice of self-defense weapons, if ever the need arise. Hopefully it never will. I think I have good karma. <laughs> that is my deck tent. Now you put that on the back of your tailgate. Your tailgate's down, the back one is up. It's like a little tent, it hooks to your tires. Kind of looks like a old Japanese house there with the solar panels and the max air on top of them. <laughs> so, I'll show you how I hooked it up on the inside and what I'm doing. So it's hooked on the tires. It's raining, I'm doing a test on it. It's hooked on the tires there with the bungees. I put a few magnets on the side, just in case the wind comes up. It's got a bungee that goes all the way underneath the tailgate. And hooks on the other side of the tire, the bungees. I got more magnets. And it comes up over your roof, so you don't get that leak. That leak right there that you usually get when you lift your window up. So, it is raining. Still trying to work on projects, still stuck on this place. Can't go anywhere, so I'm repurposing all the parts I can find. So let's check it out. Let me give you some ideas. Craigslist DAC tent, D-A-C, DAC tent. I think I spent 50 bucks on it. They go for way more, but you know, I'm poor. I buy everything used and repurpose what I got. You gotta work with what you got. So, stuck here, working on stuff. So we got left of hardware in that little bucket. Got all these spare things. Can't get to a hardware store, so I'm ordering hardware from online. So, but, like I said, you gotta work with what you got. These come in handy. I just borrowed this. This is a PVC pipe cutter. Makes life a lot easier. All right. I just wanted to check in. I'm going to sit here and listen to the rain on my DAC tent. I hope you guys are all doing fine out there. So, peace, love, and understanding, everybody. Y'all take care of yourselves out there.